Mogboy are back, but this time we're not reviewing another tick watch like the E3 or the Pro 3 Ultra. If you do want to see those videos, click the link below. Today, we are getting the heart pumping and your feet moving. No, no, Mobvoi are not bringing out a new version of Dance Dance Revolution. It's a home treadmill. Run, Tech Force! Run! Okay, I promise that'll be the only Forrest Gump reference for this video. Let's get right into this very big box. Here is the compact treadmill, our power cable, and a remote control. Here we have the phone holder and handlebars, which you can also attach. Um, here we've got the emergency stop key. So just in case you have a little accident on the treadmill, it will stop working. A very handy function is that it is magnetic. Over here, we've got a couple of spares and of course the manuals. Now, if you wanted to give your treadmill a name, I would recommend um, Jenna because it's the most beautiful name I've ever heard. Sorry, I couldn't help myself, but that'll be the last Forrest Gump reference. Thank goodness it comes pre-assembled. So you basically just need to take it out of the box and you're good to go. The only assembly needed is for the cell phone holder and the handlebars if you require them. The power cable that has been provided is definitely way too short, so you're going to need an extension cable here. This treadmill has two settings, running mode and walking mode. Basically, Basically, if you can run faster than 12 kilometers an hour, you could outrun this treadmill because that's its max running speed. Its max walking speed is four kilometers an hour. The control bar has two positions. When it's in the down position, you can only walk. To run, the bar has to be extended. If you attach the handlebars that need to be removed to fold up the treadmill, this could be quite annoying. I would only attach these if absolutely necessary. On to its functionality. This treadmill comes in at 34 kilograms, which is quite heavy. I didn't realize it was going to be this heavy. This means that before you go for your little run, you're going to have to do a bit of weightlifting. It isn't easy to move it around, so it might be best just to keep it in one place. Or you could wheel it under a couch or a bed and wheel it out again when you need it, because it does have wheels to allow you to move it around. It has a maximum weight allowance of 120 kilograms. I am about 75 kilograms, and during my use, it didn't feel unstable or as if it was going to break. It felt very strong and almost exactly like the treadmill you would find in the gym, but obviously a bit smaller. Talking about smaller, the running area is 40 centimeters wide and about 100 centimeters in length, so there's definitely enough space to run. It's also smaller than proper treadmills that you would find in the gym, but you just have to be a little bit more careful so that you don't accidentally miss the track when running. Again, you don't want to end up like those people falling off treadmills. Very funny to watch, not so much if you're the one falling off. Every device has Bluetooth nowadays, and thank goodness this treadmill offers a Bluetooth speaker. It's not the greatest speaker, but surprisingly good for a built-in speaker. And I prefer using my Soundcore Space A40 earbuds that we reviewed a while back. Click the, the link below if you want to watch that video. The built-in speaker is a good addition, especially if you don't have headphones or other speakers. There is a remote control which works very well and is very responsive. When in running mode, there is also a small display in front of you which shows you your speed to the nearest kilometer and also allows you to stop and start the treadmill and increase and decrease your speed by 0.1 kilometer intervals. But the buttons on the display aren't the best and you have to push down with a bit of force to get them to respond. I prefer the remote because it responds instantly and gives you the same buttons that are available on the display. There is also a second display on the floor of the treadmill next to the Bluetooth speaker and this display gives you a counter when you press start to count you in so you know exactly when the treadmill is going to start. Three, two, one, we have lift off, start running. Before we get to our conclusion, it's time to run your mouse or finger onto the like and subscribe button. Give the bell a click as well if you want to be notified as soon as I drop a video. Our videos are like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. I'm sorry, that's the very last 
Forrest Gump reference, the last one. In conclusion, this is a very basic treadmill, essentially allowing you to change speed up to 12 kilometers an hour. It costs 400 pounds, quite a bit of money, but you're investing in your own health and fitness. The links to this product are on Amazon and are in the description below. See you soon. Bye bye. doing another forest camp reference here. I'm not doing another run forest run.